I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here in Liverpool. I've got one of Liverpool's own, Robbie Davies Jr. Robbie, I've had to grab you quickly because you've done a little bit of media with Matchroom and I want to get a quick word with you. Um, yeah, Saturday night, Dara Foley, what do you know of him? Do you know what? I know him off the, uh, off the British circuit through some of the lads he's fought when he's been over here. Um, seems like a very confident and capable fighter. Um, I know he's been over these shores a few times, uh, whether he's coming from Ireland or... Um, Australia. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I really am looking forward to it. And always someone that brings it, and that's what I like. That's what you're expecting, sort of like a war, because he does bring it, and you don't get drawn into a war. But sometimes you like to trade trade blows with your opponents as well. So I'll be expecting a fan-friendly fight, for lack of a better word. Uh, it could be. It could be. It's um, it's going to be tactical warfare. So. Um, We'll see how the, how, the, how the fight plays out in the first couple of rounds and then we'll know what way it's going to go. I've seen his post about a belt not being on the line and he's told Eddie to get his finger out and put a belt on the line. Does that bother you that there's no belt on the line? Um, don't me wrong, it's always nice to fight for a, for a belt, but um, I'm pretty old school. British Commonwealth, European world, they're the only belts that mean anything to me. What is the plan then for you? Obviously, that super lightweight division is, is, a, is a tasty division to be in. I mean, obviously, Josh Taylor, Jack Carroll at the top. But we've just had Lewis Dritz against O'Hara Davis there for a final eliminator. Are you sticking around at this weight? If so, how excited are you to be in this division? Yeah, it's a great division. Um, I'm just looking for the biggest fights possible in the division. Um, I will be sticking around, especially for a little bit longer. I've still got a few more fights at 10 stone in me. Um, just hoping to get the best fights I can moving forward. When you look at the division domestically, like I said, O'Hara Davis has got a good win. Um, you've got uh, well, you've got Dalton Smith who's in this division as well, a good young fighter, a British champion. You've got Sam Maxwell who's probably been mentioned with you along your name in that Liverpool derby for such a long time. Are these the names you want this year and going forward? I just want anyone who's above me, to be honest. Like Some of them names that you mentioned there are good fighters, but the way back from where I am and I am. At my point in my career, I don't want to take any backward steps. So if there's someone that's ahead of me or has someone that gives me the feel that I need to fight them to get what they've got, then they're the sort of fights and the opponents that I want. When you look at sorry, this year, obviously you've not fought for what May last year. You were supposed to fight tail the last uh, year. So it's been a long layoff. Um, you're fighting in March. Are you hoping to get a good run of it this year? And if so, what are the plans for this year come December? Yeah, I'm not looking past Saturday. I've got to get the win on Saturday and then look move forward. But I've um, got a new contract set up and things like that, so I know I'll be a bit more busier this year. So I'm looking to just get the run going on Saturday night and then obviously you'll see a lot more of me this year. Robbie, I've been a good few of your fights and I'm going to say that it's, you've had me on the edge of the seat in quite a few of them. Um, Daryl Foley, like you say, he brings it. So the fans in your home arena... And the fans watching on the zone, what can they expect from Robbie Davis Jr.? Just the same as always. I always bring the excitement. I always bring the <gasps> to every fight, and I'll bring it to this one as well. Can you stop him? I do believe I can do. Yeah, I believe I can break him down. Um, but I know he's a very proud man, so it could be uh, easier said than done. But I'll be coming. I'll be coming for sure. I know you asked me for five minutes. I've actually done three and a half minutes. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, you're flying. <laughs> flying, I'm flying. Hey, listen, good to speak to you again. Good to see you smiling. And uh, good luck Saturday night. No doubt I'll see you maybe at the public workout or definitely see you at the press conference tomorrow. So, Robbie, thank you so much, brother. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you. I know you're a big... I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.